New on Daybreak, sharing abortion stories. In less than a week, Indiana lawmakers will meet for a special session and plan to enact a new abortion ban. The specifics of what the law will look like are still not clear, but what we do know is this will impact women and girls. So this morning, News 8's Hannah Mordeaux brings us two women's unique perspectives on the topic. Two women, two abortion stories, and now two different sides of the issue. One is for abortion rights, the other is anti-abortion. Now both women want their stories heard before laws change in our state. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to have a baby, so I got an abortion. It was my choice to terminate the pregnancy, and I have made my peace with that. Chelsea Powell and Michelle Nims Deshan both got pregnant young, both got abortions, but differ on this. You've had several abortions, mm -hmm. but now you consider yourself anti-abortion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, because uh, I know what I did was wrong, and I know the importance of the seed in your body. This is killing a baby. I mean, what would you say to those people? It might be killing a baby to you, but it's not to us. First, Chelsea's story. She grew up in Bloomington, got pregnant at 21, wasn't in a serious relationship, and hardly had enough money to survive. I didn't want one at 21. And to bring a baby into this world that cannot be adequately cared for, I think is irresponsible. And it's not fair to you, and it's not fair to the baby. She had always wanted to be a mom, but couldn't see the future working. So, at eight weeks, she took the pills to end the pregnancy. And so I went through the abortion process by myself, and it was, it was awful. I mean, I wish it had nobody. Nobody wants to go and have one done. Um, and I went to live the rest of my life. Chelsea went on to graduate college, have a career, and when ready, got married and had a family of her own. She has a stepson and two daughters, one who died in the womb. Well, we lost her at 29 weeks, and it was, it was devastating. Clara's heart stopped beating. And Chelsea says the same medicine used to help mothers in some abortions or miscarriages helped her deliver their stillborn. It just breaks your heart. And for if I would not have been able to have that kind of medicine at that time, I mean, I would have died. That's her fear for women now. They won't get the treatment they need or want. That choice will be gone. I know people who've had abortions, but I don't know anybody who's regretted it. Children are a blessing and not a curse. Michelle says she does regret her abortions. I know it's wrong. God is God gave us all a choice, you know, here. Even though we have a choice, that doesn't mean it's right. For her, not having the choice may have been better. It sounds like you regretted oh, yeah. your previous yeah, abortions. Yeah, I do. And I think about the children and who they could have became. She grew up here in Indianapolis, got pregnant at 15, and was so scared. She got an abortion, then again at 25. Or right, why? You know, you know, I do not want to have this baby, but I done told you I would not do this again. And I just cried. For, I cried every day uh, because it's like, I don't want to have this baby. I'm getting ready to graduate. I have two kids. I'm divorced. A year later, pregnant again. She thought about abortion, but says several signs from God pushed her to keep the baby. If it wasn't so important, Satan would be trying to make you get rid of it. And then it's been a blessing, you know, that I did choose to keep the child. She graduated college, went on to have a career, and is now a proud mother of three. This is the mistake I could have made, and I could not have had them in my life. Her son Thomas is grown, a father himself. She wants people to see him and choose life. So I just hope they make the right choice. And what's that? To keep the baby. Data from the Indiana Department of Health shows 8,414 women got abortions in Indiana in 2021. Only 105 of those abortions happened after the pregnancy hit the 14-week mark. More than half were women in their 20s, and 234 were younger than 18. Similar ages to both these women when they got their abortions. That it should be a woman's choice. And it's it doesn't matter why. Do you think that's a good thing if lawmakers ban abortion here in Indiana? Uh, I think so. And now, despite different abortion stances, they have similar fears about the repercussions of abortion laws. Abortion will not end. Safe abortion will end. I mean, if they want to do it, they're going to do it. Laws or no laws. There's no win either. It's going to be legal. It's going to be a lot done. It's going to be illegal. And a lot of women are going to lose their life. 
And both women agree if the mother's life is at risk, they would want abortion to be legal. Now the decision is in lawmakers' hands. Hannah Mordeaux, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.